Let's explore the tetanus by answering the five major questions about it, including what is tetanus, what causes tetanus and lockjaw, what are the major symptoms and major complications of it, and of course, what is the best treatment for tetanus. Let's start with what is tetanus. The word tetanus literally means to stretch and tetanus is also referred to as lockjaw. It is an infection of a bacteria known as Clostridium tetani. These bacteria release a neurotoxin which causes painful muscular contractions when these bacteria enter the human body. So, what actually causes the tetanus and the lockjaw? Tetanus is a disease of sudden onset caused by Clostridium tetani. It is often life-threatening. The bacteria Clostridium tetani is non-capsulated gram-positive bacteria and it produces a neurotoxin. The spores of the bacteria can be found in soil, dust, manure and also among other environmental components. When these spores get inside the human body via breach in the skin, the spores turn into bacteria. The site of entry may be trivial or sometimes even unnoticed. Tetanus does not pass from person to person like other infections. Regarding lockjaw, it is a neurotoxin produced by the bacteria which acts on human central nervous system resulting in muscle stiffness and painful muscle spasm. The tetanus can set in from 3 to 21 days with a median average of about 10 days. So the next question is, what are the symptoms of tetanus? The disease starts with the early symptoms of fever, generalized weakness, headache, and later the various type of muscle spasm starts to kick in. First, there could be fever, the feeling of malaise, and headache. Among the muscle spasms caused by the neurotoxin, first, there is a spasm of the muscle of chewing, leading to lockjaw and difficulty in swallowing, and later, the neck and the back muscles develop pain and stiffness. The pain and stiffness then becomes generalized, leading to generalized muscle spasm. It is due to the development of laryngeal muscle spasm when the disease is in advanced state, which leads to reduced ventilation and ultimately the respiratory failure. The respiratory failure is the cause of death in tetanus patients. So, what could be the complications once someone has the tetanus infection? The major complications of tetanus include clots in leg veins, also clots in lungs, muscle breakdown, bone fractures, decrease or an increase in blood pressure, and even a cardiac arrest. So, what can be done if someone has the tetanus infection? So, the major question arises is what is the best treatment for tetanus. Tetanus can be mainly treated by wound debridement and antibiotics such as metronidazole, general supportive management, airway management, control of muscle spasm with the help of benzodiazepine drugs such as diazepam, lorazepam or midazolam, halting the toxin production, neutralization of the unbound toxin, and the management of autonomic nervous system dysregulation. The treating doctor mainly decides further about the detailed management of tetanus. Tetanus is associated with high mortality rate, therefore it is very important that every individual with a tetanus-prone wound should be assessed for the need for post-exposure prophylaxis against tetanus. For more videos and updates, please subscribe, like and share the Health Watch channel. Thank you for watching.